Hey guys, what I have here is something a little different. This is a W lock. It's a disc detainer pad lock. This specific model is called the oval lock, but there are a few other models as well. They all use the same locking mechanism. I don't know a whole lot about the company. I do know they made locks for the US military at some point, and it is comparable in size to something like this Sargent and Greenleaf 826A. So let me zoom in and I'll give you a look at the key here. So here's the key. It's very, it's a big, heavy, well-made key. Um, we take a look at the cuts here. We have 10 discs. There is a disc in the back that needs to be tensioned. There's eight discs in the center that need to be rotated. And then there's a free spinning disc in the front. So I'll show you the keyway now. So that's what the keyway looks like. And I'll unlock it for you. It is a key retaining padlock. And then when I first got this thing, I'm not that used to picking disc detainers, so I wasn't exactly sure what tools I would be using. What I ended up using is actually one of these cheap disc detainer picks that sell on eBay. They usually sell in a set with this for about $10. So I'm not using that, and I'm not using the blue piece on this one. The only part I'm using is the tensioner. The tip of this tensioner used to be rectangular. I trimmed it down, I filed it down so that it could properly hook and rotate that back disc. And then for a pick, I'm, uh, I'm using one of my homemade flags. I uh, originally intended this for like cabalox, but it works for this as well. So let me throw this thing in a vise and I will get started picking. I have to have the camera at a little bit of a different angle here. I'll unlock it for you one more time. Okay, so I gotta make sure this tensioner is properly hooked onto that back disc. Okay, that should be good. And the first thing I'm gonna do is rotate that free spinning disc in the front out of the way. And then I pick it like any other lock, I look for a binding element and then set it. And when you rotate these discs, there's going to be a noticeable point of resistance. That's where you're going to want to stop. You don't want to force anything too much. It shouldn't take too long to pick. So I was really surprised when I got this open for the first time. The only other disc detainer locks I've picked have been environmentals, which aren't much of a challenge. Oh, that got us open. So that was disc uh, five, I think. All right, so that's been the W lock picked. Thanks for watching, guys.